Have you ever had to lean on something? Like, really lean on something. When I was hiking earlier this year, I was heading up a really tall cliff. To my back was open air, and to my front, an almost straight up slope. All that was keeping me from falling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet was a single iron handle. And then it dawned on me, I completely trusted that iron handle from keeping me from falling. What do you put your trust in? My name is Dom Bronico, and I get to hang out with the elementary kids here at Kids Town in Lexington. And just like me holding on to that iron handle, maybe you trust how good you are at basketball. Or maybe you trust your super smart brain to get you really good grades. This one's mine, actual size. Or maybe you trust your super cool style. Got some cool shades. That's not cool. It's not, it's not cool. Oh, okay, okay. But here's the thing. None of those things are able to hold you up. Eventually, you won't know the answer to every test. Sports might lose their wonder and you might find yourself not as good as you thought you were. And even style, clothing, that, that will change. I have good news though. God made you, God loves you. And because of who God is, we can trust God with our life. You, yes, you were designed to lean on God. When your day goes in a way you might not have hoped, God is still there. When you're worried or anxious, God can help you. And when things don't turn out like you wanted, God doesn't change. When we trust in God and lean on Him, people see our peace and sureness and feel confident to do the same. We can point others to the one we can lean on. So all month long, we're talking about trust, putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Say that with me, ready? Trust, putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. And our verse to remember comes from Proverbs 3, 5. It goes like this, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. Can you say that with me? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Okay, try to remember that verse and stick with us all month long and I can't wait to hang with you later. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs>